um, in this um, on a new day, Monday the 25th of September. Um, it's a sign of the times, of course, that I'm wearing a big jumper today uh, to try and keep warm, although it's actually not too bad here in Staple Grove um, today. Hope you had a good weekend um, and um, perhaps you joined us for worship at one of our services. Um, today we're remembering Lancelot Andrews, Bishop of Winchester and spiritual writer. Um, and we're asked in our diocesan prayer cycle to uh, pray for, well, ourselves really, and people as we look after our spiritual needs as well as our physical needs. I suppose there's always a, an interesting question as to how we do look after our spiritual needs, but uh, we shall commit that to God in the first instance. Um, and we're also remembering Sergei of Radonez in uh, Russian uh, monastic reformer from the 14th century. Um, we'll be having some words uh, from Ezekiel um, chapter 1 uh, verses 1 to 14 and also from Mark's Gospel. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all, to you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Fullness of time, you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us. In your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. So we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us. Let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. So, uh, Ezekiel chapter 1 verses 1 to 14. In the thirtieth year, in the fourth month, on the fifth day of the month, I was among the exiles by the river Chebar. The heavens were opened and I saw visions of God. On the fifth day of the month, it was the fifth year of the exile of King Jehoiakim, the word of the Lord came to the priest Ezekiel, son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Chebar, and, in the, hand, and the hand of the Lord was on him there. As I looked, a stormy wind came out of the north, a great cloud with brightness around it and fire flashing forth continually, and in the middle of the fire something like gleaming amber. In the middle of it was something like four living creatures. This was their appearance, they were of human form. Each had four faces, and each of them had four wings. Their legs were straight, and the soles of their feet were like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like burnished bronze. Under their wings, on their four sides, they had human hands, and the four had their faces and their wings thus. The wings touched one another. Each of them moved straight ahead, without turning as they moved. As for the appearance of their faces, the four had the face of a human being, the face of a lion on the right side, the face of an ox on the left side, and the face of an eagle. Such were their faces. Their wings were spread out above. Each creature had two wings, each of which touched the wing of another, while two covered their bodies. Each moved straight ahead. Wherever the spirit would go, they went, without turning as they went. In the middle of the living creatures there was something that looked like burning coals of fire, like torches moving to and fro among the living creatures. The fire was bright and lightning issued from the fire. The living creatures darted to and fro like a flash of lightning. Mark, it's Gospel, chapter 12, verses 28 to 34. One of the scribes came near and asked Jesus, Which commandment is the first of all? Jesus answered, The first is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the one... Let's get that again. 
One of the scribes came near and asked Jesus, which commandment is the first of all? Jesus answered, the first is, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Then the scribe said to him, you are right, teacher. <clears throat> You have truly said that he is one, and besides him there is no other. And to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the strength, and to love one's neighbour as oneself. This is much more important than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. After that no one dared to ask him any question. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own strength. So let's turn to our prayers of intercession as we pray for the day, and the church, and the world. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks today for Lancelot Andrews. And Lord, as we're encouraged to look after our spiritual health as much as our physical health, so we do pray for ourselves as we do that. Lord, help us to follow those commandments, to love you with all of our mind, soul, strength. Help us to take time out to be with you in the midst of such busy lives, to reflect and to be aware and conscious of your presence. Lord, we thank you for the worship that was offered in your name yesterday in our churches. And we thank you for the groups that we have who meet together regularly to pray, to study the Bible, to reflect, to share with one another. Lord, we do pray for those groups, <coughs> for our two Romans course groups and for the Bible study group in Staple Grove, preparing to meet tomorrow. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for the church, thanking you for our churches here in the Benefice, at Norton and at Staple Grove asking that your Holy Spirit will continue to move among us, bind us together in common unity and shared love. As we aim for the harvest celebrations on Sunday, so we pray, Lord, for your Holy Spirit to move among us. Help us to reflect on your great provision and kindness and to... respond generously as we make our own donations to the Taunton Food Bank. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we do pray for those making arrangements for the lunch, particularly for Janet Darby and others. Lord, we pray that everything will come together and that your name will be glorified there'll be enough food. Lord, we pray for our cafe church starting on Sunday. Lord, we pray that people will be drawn to that and that your hand would be upon it, that that will go well and it will be a real celebration and uplifting time together. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.
Lord, we pray for the world, continuing to hold those nations where there is particular need before you. Azerbaijan, Libya, Morocco among them. We pray for our own uh, government, Prime Minister, as they uh, reflect upon and wrestle with various issues. Lord, we pray for those who keep us safe, for our police services, for our uh, armed forces. Lord, we pray that you would continue to equip and enable them as they serve us and the wider community. Lord, we pray for our own uh, base here within the benefice at 40 Commando. Lord, we pray through your Holy Spirit, you would watch over them. Do pray for their uh, their chaplain, uh, Neil, and his ministry to them. And Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit would fall afresh upon them today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we're asked today to pray for those who are unemployed. So, Lord, we, we do lift to you all those people who would like to have work but simply can't find any those who uh, struggle to find a purpose to life and Lord at the same time we pray for those whose work is is stressful or difficult or dangerous Lord we know that many people put their well their lives in danger to serve the community there are many people for whom work brings untold pressures. So, Lord, we do pray for our doctors and uh, surgeries and hospital, particularly looking after those who struggle with mental health because of work pressures. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we know that there are many people within our communities who suffer, in body, mind or spirit. So we bring people to you now, known to us. Praying for Ivy and Gerald, Margaret and Derek, <coughs> Peter and Lynn, for Barbara. And at the same time, praying for those who mourn the loss of loved ones. The friends and families of Sue Durham, of Bob Wolfenden, of Phyllis Dart. And Lord, we pray that you would give them all that they need, not just to survive, but to, to come through this with confidence and hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So, Lord, we pray for the day that lies ahead of us today, for the meetings, the visits, the encounters that we have planned, that your spirit will go before us and prepare the way, and that we can follow you faithfully and obediently. So, Lord God, who gave to Lancelot Andrews many gifts of your spirit, making him a man of prayer and a pastor of your people, Perfect in us that which is lacking in your gifts, of faith to increase it, of hope to establish it, of love to kindle it, that we may live in the light of your grace and glory, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. And as Jesus himself has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, 
Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us, preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good to have you with me and um, I hope that you have a really good day and look forward to seeing you again.